Abdul Rahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we talked about introduction to pointer arithmetic. And basically, we had seen that actually the pointer arithmetic, uh, it is actually uh, based on the type of uh, machine. And we have seen that there are two types of machine, the 16-bit machine and the 32-bit machine. So the size of the arithmetic operation in a 16-bit machine will be 2 bytes. And for 32-bit machine, actually will be 4 bytes. So today, we are going actually to answer ourselves what are the pointer increment and the pointer decrement. And in that particular journey, we are going to take up what are the definitions of an, a pointer increment and a pointer decrement. And then we are going to see the whole concept of the increment and the decrement. And finally, we are going to go and implement uh, actually this particular concept into Dev C++. So let's just start and see what it is actually uh, uh, the definition of an increment and the decrement. So basically, here, yeah, what uh, what we are saying it is that C pro uh, programming actually provides it actually provides uh, a set of instructions which actually will perform arithmetic operation will perform actually arithmetic operations and comparison operations so it will perform arithmetic operation and comparison operation uh, of actually the memory address having said that um, actually the memory address has got uh, the following operands It has got three operands. One is what you call the increment and the decrement. And the next one is what you call addition and subtraction. And the third one is what you call the comparison operators. So for today, we are actually going just to take the first one. And in our uh, next videos, we are going to talk about the addition, subtraction, and then the comparison operator. So let's see what is the concept actually of the increment and the decrement. So let's start up uh, with the the increment actually the increment uses the plus sign and uh, actually uh, what it does it returns the next address the next address which is pointed uh, by the pointer and actually the next address so the next address actually it is the sum of the pointed address plus the size of the pointed data type. So that basically will be the uh, the increment. Let's go to the next one, which is the decrement. Actually, the decrement uses uh, the minus sign, and it returns the previous address. And uh, the previous address, actually, it is the difference of the pointed address minus 
the size of the pointed data. So let's try to conceptualize the whole idea. So if actually we have we have a num, if let's take for example, we have here int num and we give it a value of 5 and then here we have int a pointer ptr so can we conceptualize and see what happens so here we'll have this block of memory address and here we'll have our num given the value of 5 and here we'll have some addresses 2020 2024 and 2028. 20, so these are actually our memory, our memory address. So let's see how we can reference this particular memory address. So here we can say actually uh, the PTR we assign it to the address of num, and then we have PTR. We actually increment it and PTR we actually decrement. So if you do that, what happens? If you do that, we'll have actually our PTR, the first one, assigned here, and then when we add it, will be assigned here, and when we uh, decrement it, it's going to be assigned in this particular address. So, that is how uh, the increment and the decrement actually works. So, let us go now to dev C++ and try uh, to implement this particular concept. So, onto that particular concept, basically here, we are going to define an array that are type integer. So, we've got up an array of size 5. And in this particular array, we are going to initialize it with some values. So maybe this is our values. Here we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, and finally 50. So this is an, our array. So on this particular array, we are also initializing it, our pointer of the type integer. So that will be our pointer called PTR. And then from there, we're using a buffer loop to loop through this particular array five times. So we have got four, and then we've got int i uh, equals to zero, and then we've got i, which should be less than five, and then we've got our i plus plus. So now the whole idea here, we want now uh, to use our increment uh, to actually go through on our pointer through each and every element and then display. So first of all, we're using up uh, as usual a printf, and into that particular printf, we are accessing those particular values, and uh, we want them to have uh, them on a uh, on a horizontal manner, and then here we are using up our pointer value. So here we are getting up the value ptr, and uh, here we are actually uh, incrementing the address. So ptr, and we are incrementing up the address. PTR plus plus. So basically, we'll move on as in this particular concept from one address to the next. We are saying here it is actually the sum. Uh, the sum is equal to the pointer address. So a pointer address. So if this is a pointer address and then plus the size of the pointer data type. So that is what we want to see what will happen on this particular. A program. Let's execute this particular program and see uh, the outcome.
program. Okay, we have run and we have seen actually the result. It has accessed our element uh, that is uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So basically, we have actually demonstrated actually what it is. Uh, we have demonstrated what it uh, uh, the concept of increment and decrement in, in a pointer. So with that particular note, we come up to the end of this particular session until into our next session, whereby we are going to talk about pointer addition and pointer subtraction. However, don't forget to subscribe into our next lesson. But uh, for now, I say bye. Thank you.